That was a little bit of a silly move, because now he's stuck in a wall. Hello all, I am Mist Wolf Alpha, and this is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. In the last episode, you may remember, we were left with the chilling ultimatum of killing Marchenko and saving hundreds, or saving a few rich dignitaries so that they can stop the Human Restoration Act. Now, I personally am going to stop Marchenko, but I'm also going to take option number three and attempt to save the dignitaries as well. Now, I will be honest, I have done it and I know it's possible because I tried to record this earlier and my recording went tits up. So I'm playing from the last save before I finished the game. So, here we go with the... Well, before I start, yeah, before... Yeah. I might have just ruined it there, but this is going to be the last episode of this playthrough. Anyway... So, let's get rolling and see how the game ends, then, shall we, guys? I know you're all good, I know you've, I've hopefully know you've enjoyed the ride as much as I have, and let's start by talking to Jim Miller here. Just, hang on, Miller. I'll find no time. Or force me to drink. Too late for me, Jensen, but you... There's still time to save the others. Jim, I'm sorry. I... No, this isn't on you. Ugh. Understand? Ugh. You're a good agent. Wait. Save your strength. No. Listen. Ugh. That's... not what I wanted to say. Ugh. What I mean to say is... You're a good man, Adam. Even... Even when I doubt it, I... Oh, I always... Knew... Oh. I always liked Miller. I kind of feel bad now for, um... Expecting he was, um... A spy. I really do, I feel bad. He didn't exactly do right, but he did wrong in so many in so many ways. Well that just messed me up a little bit because I had everything nice and neat for a second there. Jesus, okay, that's slightly annoying. Anyway, enough with that crap. Let's get rolling. And let's actually search Jim's body. Okay, nope, nothing there. Okay, so, here we go, just going to open this door, just to, because I'm probably going to, well, I'm going to need it later, and let's see if I can find hope, you know what, you kind of deserve that, jackass, and you want to tell us, uh, one of the, uh, obviously one of the, in, Infiltrated spies from one one of the infiltrated bad ass hats or one of the infiltrated terrorists. So yeah, I mean these guys don't deserve to get shot, but the other guys do. Anyway, why am I in here? Nope. Okay, yeah, I'm just searching for extra ammo just in case. Okay, let's put this away for now and drop down because I can. And no one apparently seems to have any problem with me doing that. 
I find that mildly stupid. Then again, it's a Deus Ex game. Unless you attack someone, people don't tend to call, like throw up much, much of a fuss, apparently. Anyway, here we go. Something's wrong, Mr. Jensen. Brown and his guests are in danger. I, I no longer have eyes on them. Marchenko's threatening to blow up hundreds of innocent people next door. Only hundreds? If Brown and his guests die, millions of augmented people will be stripped of all rights and classified as less than human. You cannot let that future occur, can you? Okay, so, here we go, and we are going into the Marchenko fight. Time to see just how badass this big motherfucker is. Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly? When a far more subtle message can be sent to achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And hopefully, I can stop that from happening. And you, of course. Now show yourself. Okay, you know what? I'm right here, Victor. And you're done hurting people. Yeah. yeah, great way to go about things, eh, guys? Piss off the really big fella. You mother of hell! And I still have one death to wear. I forgot about that cannon. Yeah, the one thing I forgot about with this was that damn cannon. Right, okay, so let's get round here. Okay. You do not see the futility of this endeavor. Perhaps in death you will realize the truth. I'm going to use his own crap against him. Okay, so let's blow him up a little bit. Get him up here. Okay, apparently I'm just going to sit here and shoot him with a shotgun. That didn't go as well as I thought it was, so let's, um, oh no, back out of that. Turn that, oh no, not again. 
Right, so I'm trying to get the idiot in range of this turret. Oh, too late. Right, okay, so let's have some grenades. Holy crap, this guy can take a beating. McCready, bomb threats neutralized. Archangel's dead. First fucking good news there we go. Oh, actually, I need to go loot his body quickly. I'm heading to the meeting room now, but chances are it's too late. Where is he? I'll let you know. Jensen out. Okay, never mind. He blew up. Okay, that's good on me. Right, let's go and see if I can save these delegates. Just because I'm probably going to need it towards the start. Actually, probably a bad idea carrying a weapon through a uh, through a non restrict through a restrict through a non restricted area, because it will scare all the people that are in the uh, that area. <laughs> okay, so let's go the long well the longish way round. Also, let's do that a little bit. Okay, so. <sighs> The longer way of going round it is doing this. And it's all blue dots, so don't need it. Okay, so back down here we go, and time to pull out the grenade launcher. There's no one there's no one in this area that's gonna be worried by a grenade launcher. <laughs> And back through here, towards the meeting rooms. Here we go, let's see if I can do this. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but what the hey? We'll cover the place in a little bit of gas for a bit. Okay, so now we'll go through here with this. That was a little bit of a silly move, because now he's stuck in a wall. Ok, 
Okay. Heavies with friggin' armor. Well, that worked out all right. I've just got two guys left to kill. Gotta love that. Okay, now apparently we should be fine because I don't see anyone else in this area. Let's go see if we've, we can save those delegates. Come on, please say I didn't. Please say I didn't take too long. Come on, up, 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 up. Hurry up! Hurry up! There we go. See, shooting things always makes them go faster. <laughs> VIP room. Adam, it's me. That pocket secretary in Hong Kong, it went live a few seconds ago, just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. 2202, okay. Right, let's go. As we consider the Yes! I did it! Hallelujah! On a global level. Humanitarian level. Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a coup de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. Hallelujah! I saved hundreds of people and saved the people at the A and saved Brown and the dignitaries. And yes, I will. Time to watch some cutscenes, my friends, and enjoy. I'm going to be quiet for now because it's a story. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear. 
nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The human restoration act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Live we won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Pikus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker, whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. The woman. And what they don't know is she helped stop the biggest attack of all of this, which would be the one with Marjenko. That de that um, device I used to stop his uh, detonator, she gave that to me. I mean, seriously. No one's going to bother talking about that aspect of the story. Oh, that's a load of bull. We know he was poisoned by the orchid. Eliza, you're a stupid bitch AI that's just doing her job. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. It is! Today, of course, you can't really blame what- you can't really get- you can't really say anything about one little splinter group. I mean, that was Marchenko, he wasn't even part of fucking ARC, he was using them. As we speak, Brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding our controlled compounds inside the Udaleg complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! Ark was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. See! Was trying to kill us. At least... Uh, at least Tibor knows! Oh, stop with the such Shakespearean bullshit, really? 
Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to armed terrorists. Did not realize that happened. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatsy. He's dead, so that ain't gonna work out. We all know that from an earlier episode. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. I went a little bit crazy on his ass with my Devastator shotgun. And that was Deus Ex Mankind Divided, guys. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. It has been my pleasure to play this game, for one. It was an, ab it was an absolutely brilliant game. And hopefully you got as much enjoyment out as I did out of watching me play uh, out of watching me play the game as I did playing it for you guys. I am Mr. Wolf Alpha, aka Ben, and I'm going to watch some of the. Um, I'm going to basically let the credits roll because um, I happen to know there's something rather special waiting it in the middle of them. For you guys, which I'm not gonna spoil. I'm just saying that it's coming. But yeah, when it comes to the stories with these games, they have always been great. The way they have always done the choice factor in this group game. I mean, I did multiple versions of that run when until I got it perfect because I knew there was a third option I knew there was a way you could save both of those guys both you could say you could kill Marchenko and save the diplomats my first playthrough my first recorded version which I had to delete because it was too long and it was unsynced as well because of issues my recorder was having was 44 minutes long because I spent about 20 minutes walking around in once in circles in the same room. Basically, um, classic Miss Wolf Alpha gets lost and runs around for 20 minutes. That, of course, caused Brown and everyone to die because I got to them too late. But once I knew where I was going, all I had to do was find the perfect way to kill our boy Marchenko, but um, in the right, in the easiest manner, and it w and it went it went well from there, pretty much. And I think I found the harder way to kill him because the the downstairs cannon probably would have been better than the upstairs one. I probably picked the wrong auto cannon to go after the, the wrong automated turret to go after him. If I'm being honest, I probably should have tried to find a way to hack the um, the lower one. And I'll probably have a go at it during uh, New Game Plus when I play that off camera. I will most likely record the DLC packages that have come out for this game because I got the Season Pass, so I've got a couple of those such as um, Criminal Past and the Rift. Uh, if you would like to see more of those, if you would like to see those, leave a comment in the in, leave a comment down below, and please don't forget to like this video. It would help me out an absolute bunch. And I think now that the music's lowering down, we're getting closer to the big surprise. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I really do. And I hope you also enjoy the complete randomness of the pictures that flow during the credits, because it is quite funny. <laughs> but yeah, no. Sorry, I say but yeah, no a lot. I've probably said it at least a hundred times in probably over the course of these episodes um when it comes to finding games that i like such as this for example i mean i'm mainly rambling now just to kind of fill in the gaps and main make it so you're not listening to sort of nothing while we wait for the uh fun to come in is uh, the main stop gap to me playing these is um 
if I can't bind them to my Razor Naga, it makes it incredibly hard due to the fact that I'm disabled. Oh, okay, I'll shut up for now. That is not the point. You should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. As always, the Illuminati plot. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Hang on Elizabeth a minute. We recognize. I recognize her. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. And it's only a matter of time. Oh my god, what are these guys got planned for Adam? And what does that what do they mean by programming? I mean hell. Even I get confused by that. Programming? That must mean Jensen's got what have, the, what have these guys got planned for Jensen in the next game? I am going to look forward to that so much. But anyway, guys, you have listened to me prattle on enough. Yes, I do advocate that anyone with a disability can play a video game if they find the right tool for them. And the right tool for me, in this case, is a left-handed Razer Naga because I can bind 90% of the games that I play to its 17 buttons but enough of that this has been deus ex mankind divided and i have been mist wolf alpha have an absolutely brilliant day wherever you are in the world and i hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the series see you in the next one goodbye and good night or good morning depending on where you are